Hey everyone, welcome. Uh, this is a quick video demonstration on how to integrate with QuickBooks Desktop using MuleSoft. So in terms of connectivity with QuickBooks Desktop, there are three different ways uh, that you can do it with, with MuleSoft. Um, there is a JDBC ODBC method where you can actually connect against QuickBooks Desktop um, and run SQL commands against the, the, the ODBC endpoint. There is the ability to leverage the QuickBooks Web Desktop um, connector. Uh, which exposes a SOAP endpoint that QuickBooks Desktop communicates to either push or pull information into QuickBooks Desktop. And then the last method is RPA, which we won't be able to get today in today's video, uh, but we'll be covering the first two, right? Okay, so let's take a look at the JDBC ODBC connection with QuickBooks first. Um, so what I have here is QuickBooks Desktop. This is uh, version 24. If we go ahead and drill into uh, the system here, I've only got four customers. Um, from a MuleSoft standpoint, what we're going to do from a JDBC ODBC, ODBC connection is leverage the database connector and make a connection to that ODBC endpoint. So you can see here, I've configured the connector to connect to the database, and then I'm running a SQL query against the um, QuickBooks desktop um, ODBC database. So select name, phone from customer. And this is just going to take a request uh, against a uh, endpoint uh, using a browser, and it's going to return back data from QuickBooks uh, in JSON format. So um, I've gone ahead and run the query here. You can see that it returns back those four records as well as the phone numbers for each record within QuickBooks. And these again correspond to each of the records here uh, within QuickBooks. All right. Okay, so the second way uh, MuleSoft can help integrate with QuickBooks Desktop is leveraging the QuickBooks Web Connector. So really quick, if we uh, switch back over to QuickBooks and we look at the QuickBooks Web Connector, what MuleSoft allows you to do is create a Web Connector endpoint that allows you to integrate with any system um, the, that's available through our, our different connector library or any, any API that you want to actually integrate and connect with QuickBooks um, Desktop. So what I've done uh, for, for demonstration purposes is that I've, I've set up a, a QuickBooks web connector with Salesforce. So when you create a new customer record within QuickBooks and run the web connector, it's going to go ahead and sync that customer record with a Salesforce instance. So these are new accounts this week. I went ahead and tested it with just a dummy account. Um, what we're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and add a new customer record here within QuickBooks. So we'll go ahead and click on new customer and we'll say that this is Visa. Uh, we'll go ahead and give it a phone number. And we'll click on OK. And then coming to the web connector, this can run, as you know, uh, on a scheduled basis, or we can go ahead and manually kick off the web connector. And what this is going to go ahead and do is call an endpoint that's exposed from MuleSoft. It's going to go ahead and query QuickBooks for any new customer records. And once it finds that record, it's going to go ahead and push that record over to Salesforce. So let's go ahead and switch over to Salesforce and click on Refresh. And then you should see that new customer record here. Uh, with the phone number um, that we just created in QuickBooks. All right, so those are the two um, options that uh, that we covered today. The first, of course, is the JDBC ODBC connection that allows you to simply query the QuickBooks desktop database for accounts, uh, customers, invoices. The other option, of course, is leveraging the QuickBooks web connector. Um, to provide a bi-directional sync between QuickBooks Desktop and whatever system, in this case I demonstrated uh, integrating with Salesforce. As you can see, MuleSoft provides several ways to integrate with QuickBooks Desktop, uh, giving you a lot of flexibility as well as scalability and management and monitoring of those integrations. Um, don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions, and thanks for watching.